Hello everybody and welcome to this course. This course is environmental science for high school grades 11 and 12. My name is Catherine Salam. I'll be teaching you this course for this scholastic year and I really can't wait to meet you all. So to start this course and talking about this course, we have to talk about the importance of environmental science. So technically environmental science helps show us how earth system function and also how we influence as human beings how we influence these systems we're also going to look at the big picture by understanding the world and our place in this world also studying the environmental science will help us to comprehend the problems that us humans create and also how we can fix these kind of problems also, environmental science is just is not only a subject in your scholastic year. You have to take it into consideration as it's something that relates to everything around you for your whole life. So now we are going to move to the actual lessons and topics and chapters that we will be covering. Take into consideration that you're going to start uh, September 3rd and finish up all the way till 2nd of June. As you can see here, those are the chapters that we will be focusing on. Those are the topics that we are going to relate to real life situation that we are going to engage together. So technically, the first thing that we're going to talk about, which is the introduction to environmental science, we are going to discuss what is an environmental science and why is it so important. Also, we are going to talk about economics, environmental policy. So as you can see, and as you guys know, that each country has its own environmental policy and something that is shared, shared worldwide. Also, we have to talk about population ecology. As you know that population increase, population decrease, and we have a rate, and we're going to be describing the population. We are going to be describing the how population grow. And if it's if it's something good or, or something bad for the area that they are that those people live in. We are going to talk about environmental health. So technically, we are going to talk about the biology and social hazards. We're going to talk about the toxic in substances in our environment and mainly the natural disasters that every once in a while a country is suffering from that. We are also going to be talking about the urbanization. We are going to talk into details about the land use and the urbanization give clear definition of sprawls and sustainable cities and how can we actually move to that to that place and actually be good impact in our environment so then we are going to be talking about the forestry and resource management so resource management forest and their resources and forest management. So technically we're gonna talk about how can we save our resources in a forest? Because you know that human ha or human beings, human race have a huge ginormous impact on the forests. We are going to be talking about the agriculture, the soil, the soil degradation, and how can we conserve soil. We are going to talk about food production, food chains, and so on, and also we're going to talk about the agriculture. Then we are going to be moving to mineral resources and mining. We are going to be talking about minerals and rock mining in general and mining impacts and regulations because everything in this world has its own regulations so we are going to be discussing that in details then th that chapter which is this chapter chapter 14 is important to us because you know that lately we're raising awareness about water resources and uh, to be more aware about the uses of water. So we are going to talk about the water as planet or the water planet and use of fresh water and the water pollution and how can we prevent the water to be polluted and be good citizens. So we are going to talk about the atmosphere. 
So we're going to be discussing the Earth's atmosphere, the pollution of the atmosphere, and how can us human beings, human race, control the air pollution. Also, we are going to be talking about something that is way too important to us, which is the cli global climate change. Technically, that we are suffering from it right now, and we can actually see the impact. So we are going to talk about our dynamic climate, the climate change, and effects of climate change, and how the Earth and us are responding to these changes. Also, we are going to be discussing renewable energy, alternatives, uh, biomass and geothermal energy, hydropower and ocean energy, solar and wind energy, and energy from hydrogen. So those are the alternatives, the renewable, and we are also going to compare it to the non-renewable energies. Lastly, we are going to be discussing the waste management. So we're going to talk about the municipal and industrial ways, minimizing solid ways and the hazardous ways and how can we actually prevent these. So I really hope that this course will be fruitful for you and you guys learn a lot as we are collaborating together between us teachers and students to actually have a lovely um, year. So thank you so much, and I really can't wait to see you all. We are going uh, to uh, start revising for first semester, December 10th and December 11th, and second semester, June 2nd and June 3rd, final exam period uh, from 12, uh, December 12th all the way to December 20, uh, 21st, and second semester from Ju uh, June 4th all the way to June 13th. I hope that you have a fruitful year together and can't wait to meet you all.